Hey guys, Krizzle here. This, this is GD Launcher that you can get from gdevs.io. So, start to finish, I am going to sign in to GD Launcher. I use the top sign in. I will avoid this Microsoft thing as much as possible. Alright, yes, I'm a developer, so I have lots of packs installed. The purpose of this video is to show you that GD Launcher installs the World of Dragons mod pack fine. Do not install it any other way. Use GD Launcher for everything. The Curse Forge Launcher is still being actively tweaked and twiddled and twaddled and whatever else you want to call it by their new owners, Overwolf. And until it is perfected, I recommend not using it unless you want to help them with their problems. Now, GD Launcher, there's another reason to use it. Supports Linux. CurseForge la Launcher currently does not support Linux. I asked them to support Linux. They said no. Matter of fact, it was emphatically no, even though they capitulated somewhat and allowed uh, when you select your operating system, you can choose Linux. Linux people need to say, hey, we want Linux for that CurseForge Launcher. Anyways, doesn't matter. So we got GD Launcher. So let's go get World of Dragons. So I'm going to hit Curse Forge. That's where it's coming from. We're not going to import no zips or nothing. That's stupid because I have a full pack there. Now, thankfully, World of Dragons is popular. If it wasn't popular, like one of my other 59 packs, you can just type Creasel in the search term, and then you can get all my packs. I have, a, I have 60 packs. Uh, 61 actually, but World of Dragons 2 is not yet released. So we want the dragons, and it's right there, number two. If you type dragons, download the latest. Just Because that other one came on top. Don't do that. Install this one. This one's mine. World of Dragons. Also, Wadna is mine. World of Dragons Light is mine. Um, I forgot if that's mine. Yeah, that's... I don't know. There's a lot of them that are here. A lot of people are putting dragons in their name now, so... Whatever. Okay, doesn't matter. So, we're installing World of Dragons. And this big old box moves around. Don't worry about it. The slower your system, the longer this box stays on the screen. The more powerful your system, the less it stays on the screen. I have a, an 8-core single-threaded AMD 8350FX with 24 gigabytes of the highest-end DDR3 you can buy. It used to be 32, but one stick died. And a 1-terabyte NVMe 2 drive. So things are pretty fast for me. It's downloaded on the mod you see, 92, 93, 94, it's fixing to hit 100%. If you get something that pops up and says, oh, I can't download mod ID, whatever, hey man, that's because you're using Kurtz Word Launcher, or you manually downloaded the zip and something got corrupted. Just use GD Launcher, look, it's already installed. Done. And it's going to load up now. Oh, so why did the creeper just blow that up? Well, by default, I am now using Java 11. If we come here and hit Java, which means for that pack, that's a Java 8 pack. You're probably not going to have that problem. But I would have to go in there, and you can individually manage this with your Java path. And I'm just going to set that back to Java 8 which is my default Java for my system. And then, of course, no creeper is going to blow that up now. Solve that problem. Okay. We are booting. Here goes. It's just proof that all the mods installed. 
There we go, man. Yes, eight gigabytes. I recommend eight gigabytes for this pack. And Java 8 is immediately going to clip off 800 megabytes for handling garbage collection and stuff. Here we go. It is loaded. There's nothing missing. You're using the wrong launcher, man. Use GD Launcher from gdevs.io. That's Golf Delta Echo Victor Sierra dot Indigo Oscar gdevs.io.